On Monday, Charlotte City Council is expected to vote on widening Ray Road just south of that accident in Ballantyne. That project could bring some much needed relief to the busy bypass. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy joins us now live there tonight. And Robin, you have been looking into what this will mean for drivers in that area. Yeah, Brian, it would be a big relief for drivers because you can see it's pretty busy right now along Ray Road right at the Stonecrest Shopping Center. And that project would start at 485 and Ray Road and then widen Ray Road all the way to Williams Pond Lane. So that's about a half mile in total for the project. And people living and working around here say it would be badly needed and they say it would be a big relief for all of us. Come on, buddy. You want to walk in the car? It's no walk or drive in the park to get pup Nigel to the vet. And I'm just tired of it. Kathleen Finkley says a five minute drive takes 20 minutes if she gets on Ray Road from her house. If you hit it at three o'clock in the afternoon, forget it. You're stuck. Four to five. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. She says the lack of planning for the growth in the area is enough to make you almost curse. But no, they do it backwards. I just almost said something. <laughs> Nigel's vet, Ray Road Animal Hospital, also deals with traffic troubles. If you've got your 3 o'clock appointment and your 3.30 show up at the same time, we are kind of scrambling to find place for the patients. The office is sometimes gets backed up with patients running late. Client coming in and they're 10, 15, 20 minutes late um, because of traffic that they kind of, it's hard to get back from that and maintain being on schedule. On Monday, Charlotte City Council will take a vote on whether to use $6.6 .6 million from NCDOT I-485 toll lane funds for a total $13 million project to widen Ray Road. If the plan passes, Charlotte DOT says crews will add one through lane in each direction on Ray Road and left turn lanes at Piper Station and Valentine Commons Parkway. Construction will be down the road, but once it's done, drivers will enjoy the improvements. I think additional lanes ultimately will be helpful, um, helping you to get home during commuting hours. Now, if that plan passes Monday, construction is still three years away. Construction would start in the year 2026, and it would be three more years after that before all of the work is done. I'm live in Ballantyne tonight. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News. Robin, thank you for your coverage.